Hello Internet! In this video, I wanted to take a look at one of the new features coming in C-Sharp 9, and that is top-level programs. Um, so this is a useful feature, if especially if you use C-Sharp for scripting. Um, it makes that a lot less boilerplate -y. There's less code that you need to write to get something actually functioning. Um, so we're going to walk through a few of the useful things that you can do with this, uh, and just kind of show you how to get started using it. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but it's it's kind of nice to see it see it working and see some of the things that work because there's a few tricks with this that are not clear if you if you're just looking at this um, there's some magic going on behind the scenes um, so to do this we just need a dotnet new uh, console project and I'm already in this top level uh, directory so it will just create it here uh, but what we want to do is actually get some help here uh, because this is a dotnet or uh, this is a C sharp 9 feature which means we need a framework that is targeting C-Sharp 9. My default is .NET 5.0. I believe this is still in beta at this time. Um, so you probably don't have this unless you're running a .NET beta, um, but make sure that whatever .NET version you have here targets C-Sharp 9. Otherwise, you're, you're not, you're not going to be able to see this. Um, so we want to just use this and plug this into the dash F uh, thing. So dash F uh, and it's .NET 5.0. And so that will create our project and set it to that framework as our target framework. Um, if you didn't do this, if you've already created a project and you want to adopt this feature, that's fine. You can just do that by going into your project file, your CS proj file, and changing this target framework to whatever target framework you want to target. Um, you just need to make sure it's, it, it's installed. Um, so though this value matches the arguments that you can provide in the uh, command line. So it's, it's all the same. Um, this might look a little bit different in Visual Studio, like the full Visual Studio. This is Visual Studio Code. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that looks. Um, you, do, you probably would need to be on Visual Studio Beta right now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's not really the point of this. That's just frameworks. Um, we're going to go into this project or this program file, and we are going to delete most of this. Um, so in order to do that, we can just do this. This in C Sharp 9 is a valid C Sharp program. We can actually make this even shorter. We can do system dot not that. Uh, we can do one line and do system dot console dot right line. That is also a fully functioning C sharp program. Uh, and we can just dot net run this, and we're gonna see hello world pop up. And we do. Um, so this is really cool because it means that you don't have to create a class. You don't have to create any functions. It just kind of if you if you're used to Python or some of those other scripting languages that are kind of designed for this, you can just start writing code without having to set up a namespace and set up a class and do all of this because because you don't really want to mess with that. Uh, but that's just like the, the top level thing. That's that's the most basic way thing we could do. Um, and that's handy. But a lot of times you want to pass in arguments. You can see here with this standard template, we get an args thing. Um, but there is no args declared because there's no function. Um, that org still exists, though. Um, that's part of the magic of this. This is sort of a magic variable in these top level programs. Uh, and so you can still access it. And so if we just create a uh, interpolated string here, that's what that dollar sign means. We should be able to just grab the first argument. Now, this is uh, not great. Uh, we probably want some sort of bounds to check if this actually exists. But this is a demo, so we're, we're going to cut a few corners here. Um, but this allows us to provide something. So to provide something with .NET run, you just do a double dash and then the arguments you want to provide. Um, so we will say um, world of zero. So typically this would be space delimited, which means every space is a new argument. But I used quotes. So uh, there we go. Arg zero. <laughs> I, I was just printing zero, uh, the value zero, not actually referencing args. Um, but we can just use args. It's not declared anywhere. It's just magically there. Um, and it should know that it's a string. Uh, <laughs> magic. <laughs> so that works. Uh, and we can do this and actually get the right result now. So we should see uh, .NET run and get world of zero. And we do. Um, so now we're actually be able to pass in arguments. We can kind of use normal command line things. Uh, but there's another thing that we're missing. If you want to do async things, um, and a lot of the patterns in C Sharp are kind of moving towards async for file operations and things like that. Or if you want to make a web request, you would use an async thing. Uh, so you would, you would want to await 
uh, and do like a task dot delay. This is just again an example. So we will wait for one second. Um, in this case, we're just we're just throwing away this task, uh, but that's fine. What we want to do is just wait that time and then say completed. And so this is just going to send us a message after a second that says, hey, we're done with this. This this worked. Um, and we can just await this. This will automatically be compiled. Um, and that original class template that you saw will actually is actually what is being generated behind the scenes. Um, so there's actually a class behind the scenes that C Sharp's compiler generates for you that has all of the normal main method um, and the program class and things like that. All of that's generated for you. Uh, you just don't see it. Uh, and so this is all hidden, I guess. Uh, and so anyway, there we go. Uh, in order to make this work, we need to just import things. You can just import anything you want. Uh, just add another, another using. It's just like normal C Sharp. There's just no function or a class. <laughs> but uh, we should be able to run this now. And so we should see uh, hello world of zero and then a little pause and then completed. Um, that's a little bit short it's only one second so let's extend that to five that'll that that'll kind of be a little bit nicer of uh, an example they'll say hello world of zero again and then wait five seconds this time and then say completed there we go nice uh, and so that is like the the nice three things you can do with this uh the first one is just you you can just do this in general you can use top level programs to create these nice scripted things um and so you get less code and less boilerplate like the only real thing that we're actually adding here is like the using statements, but even that is part of this. It's describing what this is doing. Um, otherwise, you would have like programs defined and functions defined that really aren't actually helping describe what this script is intended to do in the first place. Um, you still do need a project file, so you can't just give somebody this C sharp file and expect them to be able to run it. They will need a project file in order to do that. Um, but creating it is not too much work. Uh, so that is pretty much it. That is top level programs uh, and they are a new feature in C Sharp 9. So it's pretty, pretty fun to play with uh, and hopefully you can use it in your programs. Uh, if there's other things you want me to see, uh, take a look at, let me know and I will do my best. Uh, otherwise, if there's other, other questions or comments or you find other uses for this, uh, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll, I'll move them around and make them as visible as I can. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So until then, see you, Internet.